Hi everyone and welcome back. Did you ever try to create a database file based on the project type of work? I am Amr Abdel Hamid. You will get activity list and the resource list and the cost breakdown structure for each activity. I will create now a blank database. One. Roads. You can input up to 20,000 activity by this subroutine. I will use for purpose of time 1,000, 15, 1, 5. Here is the code, activity code. Here is another system of coding, activity name. And you can make the dry cost or direct cost. This is the spot area for the activity ID 16. And I will close this now. And I will open the one I created before. This one. I will for block work. This is item. Okay. We have here a block wall of block in dimension 25 by 12 by 6 centimeter, 14 lines of block, 15 horizontal line of mortar, 6 vertical line of mortar. This is the data. You can check it. We one square meter have 0.057 of block, have 0.026 cubic meter in sand, 0.008 ton. One mason and a helper in working eight hour, simple in productivity will be 30 square meter. I use the rate. The rate equal 1 over productivity it will be 1. The factor here, if you consider this is the ideal area for working, if it's not or due to site situation, you can change the factor. Okay? Let's open our File, crystal. Okay. I will add quantity survey sheet. <coughs> this subroutine will check the number of activity, and I will fifteen, four, five. This is the format if you want to input an array. This is the quantity survey sheet. If you go to this activity and you click here, you can add, we have 300 vials. And the height is 30 meter. Okay, we get now the value of quantity survey. How to save our time? I will get the data from here. This is a quantity survey I made it before. Kobe. This species values okay. I will close this file now. And using this subroutine, the subroutine will check the database name of this project and will pick the activity ID and searching from the database 
and to input the data in resource assignment sheet it's blank here now okay I will okay go ahead Want to save? No, don't save. Now the this subroutine collect all uh, resources and it's now here. Let's also go to resource events assignment. I will add. for this here to add the all temporary surface fees the category will be overhead quantity 5 each one 20,000 loading and start of activity and do it once. Also, I can add for administration guarantee letter. It's also overhead. One fifty thousand start of activity and once. Now I am ready to calculate activity assigned here. Okay, well done. Now we are ready to create a project XER files. Okay, open Primavera, file, import, biggest, biggest project. This is crystal created just now. Okay, next. I will use uh, create a new project. High rise. Next, next, finish. project open this one I will column I want to get cost and budget expense cost labor and material non labor total cost okay Online, okay. Budget total cost here is twelve. Now let's check our file. Activity. Okay. Here twelve. Let's check this number. 12 million three hundred fifty three thousand format sales number okay this is the same number twelve million three hundred fifty three thousand one hundred twenty seven down the same month. 